Please join in welcoming to the stage, Ping Fu. Thank you. It is very hard for me to say what libraries mean to me. When I lived in Shanghai, my Shanghai papa had a very wonderful library on the third floor of our house. It was in the library he taught me the lasting impression of the ideas that can be generated and learned in the library. And he said that ideas, just like a book, need proper care. I can explore the ideas from famous authors. I can learn the intellectual challenges and the experience and the stories of others. As a scientist, I could also immerse myself in the never-ending search for facts and truths. And all of this may be self-evident to Americans, in large part because the extraordinary work by the librarians. What I'm saying here is that library made me feel safe, safe to explore new places, new ideas, even controversial, controversial opinions safe to set off to a different path, safe to question. And I have to share with you that I didn't always feel safe before I came to this country. There were times even asking questions can be dangerous. So I couldn't, as my Shanghai Papa taught me, to safeguard my independent thoughts. I was eight when my life turned upside down. My beloved parents were university educated, but in Cultural Revolution, learning was crime. As a result, the government cracked down on teachers, professors, and intellectuals. Like many edu other educated professors and Chinese, my parents were sent to remote area in China into the hard labor camp. Suddenly, my afternoons in libraries were stopped. When I first arrived in the US, like many first generation immigrants, I had no money and no support systems. I couldn't study comparative literature which is my previously chosen field. But I went forward off the beaten path. I gained remarkable support from faculties and friends. And I found those safe places in libraries. When I could read whatever I want and foster my independent thinking and let my mind and the spirit venture into the new world. While studying English was difficult, in libraries, I found the language of computer science. When I was a child, I dreamed to be an astronaut. And never have I imagined the technology that we created would be used by NASA Space Shuttle to guarantee the safety return of the astronauts. When NASA went, NASA Discovery went to the space with a mission of repair the damaged tile. My father was dying. He was in bed watching CNN off of this program. And I was in the United States on the other half of the Earth, 12 hours apart, watching the same program. Then the phone rang. He said to me, King, I am so proud of you. I can leave now because you can go on to finish what I have not finished and more. And all of those new ideas started from the library. I would also want to say library needs to innovate too. In the future, library needs to be a community space. The past and the future need to be together. 
It needs to be a place where we can interactively explore rather than just reach the, the passive books that sitting on the shelf.